Now, would you leave the office at about 4 a.m. in the morning and be back to the same same office at about 7.30 the same morning? Now, that is happening for one CS for Treasury, Mr. Henry Rotich, who has had to spend sleepless nights preparing a statement that defines the economic path for the country for the next one year. The past few days have been similar, early to rise and late to bed, making sense of numbers, reconciling the demands from different departments with available revenue to finance a 2.1 trillion shillings budget, the biggest for the country. When we met the CS this morning, he was engrossed in those numbers, checking and counter-checking to get rid of any errors, practicing his budget speech in Parliament. Too busy to even afford us a moment of comment. Two hours later, he would emerge from the office, not to take a nap, but on a journey to State House to brief cabinet colleagues on the budget. Traditionally, the finance minister has to table the budget statement to the cabinet before doing so in parliament. However, contrary to previous minister's experiences, the budget process is a long one that takes close to 11 months, a cycle that involves back and forth consultations between departments and arms of government. Rotich was recently publicly berated by President Uhuru Kenyatta for failing to attend an innovation function at Strathmore College alongside other cabinet secretaries. Rotich, however, says he has been on a tight schedule and had sent his apologies. I was tied up with the preparation of the budget, you know, I had to make very many, you know, clearance to ensure that if the tomorrow's date has to happen, uh, and, and that's why uh, I, 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 I couldn't move here. Uh, I did also send my, uh, my uh, early enough actually, I'd send uh, my, uh, you know, uh, apologies that I was not going to make it, but I think that information may not have reached the organizers. Indeed, it has been many long hours and short nights for the CS as he and his team worked their socks off to deliver the budget. But all the slaving will seldom be appreciated in the usual cheers and jeers reactions to the budget. Sam for Citizen TV, Nairobi.